everybody it is Christmas Day and Jose and I are here in the pole barn and we are starting to get everything out of here we pulled the truck and the trailer back here and we're cleaning up all the trash that I had like started separating and getting the good material why are we doing this son we bought ourselves a Christmas gift well not exactly yet we haven't purchased it yet but we're in talks with a breeder to get some Durox. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a breeder pair, hopefully, uh, depending on what's available. Mm -hmm. But one of those mixes is definitely going to be a Durox breed. Yeah. Um, don't know if it's if we're going to do another Durox or Yorkshire or Hampshire mix. Yeah. Not mix, but pure cross. blood to be able to cross them. But uh, we're, we'll find out this week. Mm -hmm. But for right now, we need to start getting ready. Yeah. We now have like. Um, what do you call that, honey? Some, we have some, uh, motivation, motivation to be able to, to clean out this, this barn. Yeah. And, uh, not only clean it out, but get it ready for pigs. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to show you guys what we're doing right now. We're just going to finish cleaning this up and then we'll, uh, talk you through what we're doing next. We found some treasure, treasure in the barn, a nice gate. Jose picked it up. So it's nice and light. That'll be awesome, it'll come in handy. So right now we're clearing off this side because this is where we're gonna start to do work to get ready um, to put in stalls for the pigs. And we're moving everything that we're keeping over onto this side of the barn. All right, set it down. You wanna get the saw from underneath? Unfortunately, a lot of the wood that was in there on the ground, understandably, is not good. It's got a ton of termite damage. You can see that big pile over there. So we just cleared it out, cut it down into manageable sized pieces, and got it on the flat bed. Yep. All right, so it's all cleared out. Ugh, look at all of those, those Chinese beetles huge piles of them. So you can see it's all the wood is pretty much gone. Gotta get some remnants. All right, so we got it cleared out like I showed you. And now we're putting boards up in the back. 
in the back, in the back side of the barn. <laughs> <laughs> no. And the goal is to keep the pigs from pushing on the panels and ruining the pole barn. So that's what we're trying to do right now is put boards up to prevent that from happening. we can go with it. Yeah, we had, like we used all the good good material that we could. The salvageable material. Yeah. It's not the best material, but it gets, no. you know what? It's going to save us some money. We don't have to go buy lumber. We just used what we had here to make this happen. And it was quite a bit. Yeah. Um, you can take a look behind us. Uh, you know, we got it, the barn kind of protected because the pigs are going to be in here for quite a while. We don't know how long yet before we get them out on pasture. We got a couple cold months coming and we want to be able to, you know, control their environment a little bit. So this might, this is probably going to be their area for the next few months. So we want to protect the shed or the pole barn um, siding so they don't push up. Because they're going to be pretty big pigs, I imagine. We haven't seen them yet. Yeah. We're going we're to see them on Tuesday. But we protected that so they can hit that. And then later on, we're going we're gonna to put some uh, keepos we put some hog panels here, right? Yeah, so we're gonna build um, like a big stall for them. That way they have the whole length of the run because there's gonna be two. Um, so we talked about, you know, building them out and getting lumber, but I think we just continue to use what we have and we've got T-posts and um, we may have to get some cattle panels or do we have enough uh, material? I don't know if we have enough cattle panels. We don't have cattle panels. We wanna get hog panels. Yeah. And one of them right here. So the hog panels are a little bit shorter than the cattle panel. Yeah. Um, but I think all we need is one because they're pretty long. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see. We'll have to see. They're about 16, 24 length. I don't know. We'll have to see. But one or two, I think we're going to be good. And then we got that gate that gate. Nicole yeah. showed you earlier that we're going to use. I don't know how we're going to situate that yet or, you know, assemble it. i um, pretty sure it's going to be t poles nice and easy. Not trying to get too crazy with it. And then obviously we need to get bedding. Um, we've been picking up, this obviously had a lot of trash. So we've been picking up things that we've been finding like screws and old tools and stuff. But we need to get bedding. We need to get some, some straw and hay, yeah. straw or hay. I don't know which one you use for bedding. I gotta look. Um, but we need to get some of that. We got feed pans um, in the back of the truck. We went and picked up. Uh, you know, the stuff for the electric fencing that we're gonna do. We're gonna try out the two strand um, and do that. Um, and we're gonna do two strand along the hog uh, panel side, because that's the weakest side, obviously. And uh, we just want them to get used to it. That way, when it, we put them out on pasture, and I think they're already trained to two wire and mesh. Yeah, I would think, I think but so. From the we video. don't want to break them from that, and we want to keep it the same. So, <laughs> the guineas are going crazy over there. They flew up into a giant tulip poplar. And some of them are way up there and they're going nuts out. <laughs> but anyway, we want to keep that training um, set with mm -hmm. them. And uh, that way, if they try to get near that hog panel side, you know, they'll, they'll feel the shock and, and respect that fencing. Yeah. Um, We've contacted Kentucky Organic Farm and Feed about feed. We're thinking that's who we're going to go with, but we're waiting for some information back from them. Their feed is all organic, non-GMO, um, and they have a soy-free swine option. So... We're just waiting for some info back on that to make sure it's good for sow, sow and you know, 
you know, soon to be girl, you know, well, we want a, a we balanced a, diet for them we, is what we want. We don't want to grow our feet for them. Right. So we want to make sure the protein. So we should be getting a gill. Yeah. And eventually she'll be a sow. Yes. Um, yes. But yeah, I mean, this is all new to us. So we just want to make sure that we're giving the appropriate feed for what they need. And we've been reading a lot of information, but there's just not as much on their website. So we needed to get a bit more. And we're also doing a deep dive into YouTube videos. Yeah. Um, and books. So, I mean, we're both reading we, different yeah. books on pigs and, and stuff like that. So this is going to be an exciting uh, journey <laughs> so we're excited to bring you along again yes and we're trying to one. we're trying to get storage for feed so we've been reaching out to people on facebook marketplace trying to get food grade barrels so lots of different things happening we'll make sure to take you guys so along. if you're watching this and, and you're by us uh let us know if you have any of this stuff that you can help us out or even point us in the right direction yes so we're in mcmenville tennessee um so yeah, if you're nearby and you've got suggestions or materials and something that we could, you know, take off your hands for you, just let us know. Yeah. And uh, we do have the, I think we're, we have the uh, transport of the pigs situated, but just way ahead in advance. I mean, I'm, lo I'm doing, I'm looking for a livestock trailer. Yeah. Not a big one, not an expensive one, just something to be able to move around hogs, you know, back and forth um, down the future, you know, but. If it, you guys know yeah. somebody or you yourself are getting rid of something that we're looking for, reach out, please. Yeah, it doesn't, like you said, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be, you know, workable and, you know, in decent shape. Something that, oh my God, that guinea, look how f high up there she is. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, so. It better go in the, it's still going to be cold Goodness tonight. Gracious. Anyways. So that's where we're at. Yeah. And Hopefully you could see me. I was up in the front. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick little video and we wanted to share with you guys. So yeah. We're excited. So stay tuned because you'll be seeing some pigs soon. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully everything goes yeah. good. Yeah. God willing. Yeah, God willing. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I can't get my hands in my pocket. Well, Merry Christmas again. You'll be Merry seeing this Christmas. after Christmas. But we hope you guys had a wonderful day with family and friends yeah. and lots of good food. This is Christmas. Yes, this I is forget. Christmas for us. Um, that's right. Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Day. Okay. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one.